I just say, did things fall off the walls? I mean, how bad nothing, was it? Nothing fell off the wall. It was just a long shaking. Like, it didn't stop. It just felt like a long, long time of mm. shaking and just a back and forth rocking movement. All right, so Jesse is in Somerville. We've heard from people in Groveland, Somerville. Um, I've heard from people in Norfolk, Newburyport, Marblehead, and Ayer. Jesse Grassi, appreciate it. Thanks, Jess. Thanks, guys. Jesse, thank you. And uh, again, we're uh, following this earthquake, which has struck uh, about uh, 25 minutes ago at this point. And I understand now, even I'm going through different sources of information to find that Rhode Island even felt this. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the entire, uh, would appear, eastern side of New England, but Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. We're working our way around here and perhaps more to come. Uh, again, uh, 4.5 magnitude, which uh, as we know in this area, that is uh, quite strong. I mean, 4.5 is something we hear about in the West Coast. Sure. Of West, certainly not here in New England. Right. So we're getting lists from um, our assigned guy, Bill Sheeran, just screamed out all these names of people who are calling. Air Somerville, Gloucester, Quincy, Arlington, East Boston, Amesbury, Lawrence, Haverhill, again, Norfolk. Uh, people feeling this earthquake that is centered right there in Maine, about 20-something miles. Um, what is it? Is that it's 20. Uh, Portland, Maine is 20 miles to the east of Lake Arrowhead. Right. So we're feeling it all over the place here. Well, go ahead, Sarah. Yeah. Only one thing that is, uh, you know, when earthquakes happen on the west coast, uh, they're felt in a very uh, minute area compared to where the epic center is. However, east of the Rockies, you can feel an earthquake about 100 or 60 miles away from the center, and that's why we are feeling uh, the why many people felt the earthquake that occurred just in Maine, a south southwest of Arrowhead, about a six kilometers. So we feel it in a more broader area compared to out in the West Coast, where they see a lot of earthquakes, but uh, perhaps not the extent of the majority of people who feel it. Very good. All right, let's go up to New Hampshire now. I mentioned my brother-in-law had felt this, and get on the phone right now, John Look at Parker. That. John, good to talk with you. We normally be talking about other things, but let's talk about the earthquake. And thanks for joining us. Tell us what happened up in Rodlandsburg, New Hampshire, which is right next to Dover. Hey, Mark. How are you? Good. Good. How well, you? it was uh, you know, a huge rumble. Um, it lasted about uh, probably 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, and it, initially, we obviously didn't know what it was. I uh, thought it might have been a plane crash, one of the big planes coming out of uh, you know, the uh, Keys Air Force Base. Sure. Uh, and, uh, but then obviously, you know, it was confirmed on the news that it was an earthquake. What about inside the house? What did you feel? Was it a shuddering type of motion, or did you just feel like the house had been picked, and picked up and dropped real quickly, like at its foundation? It was just, I mean, there really wasn't a lot of, you know, any movement of anything in the house other than just a you know, very low rumble. Um, you know, we ran downstairs to make sure it wasn't something inside the house, the furnace or anything. Um, but it was, you know, it was, it was just a real low rumble, uh, you know, and, and, a, and a little bit of shaking, like the vibration. It, uh, I, I really didn't, I really didn't connect it with a possible earthquake uh, at, at first. And why would you, right? I mean, at this point, no, uh, no aftershocks have been felt in the area either, correct? Uh, nothing here, that's for sure. But it left quite an impression, I'm sure. John Parker up in Rollins for New Hampshire. John, appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, again. Um, Take care. Thank you. Go it's right interesting ahead. because this is this is with through social media. This is how we so get it. this is how we get it. So <laughs> instantaneous, and it's the people you know, and that's how we do it. Uh, you guys know Kendra from the from the Maddie Show, and she's yep. on our morning show as well. She just texted me saying it's Kendra from the Maddie Show. Just put my daughter to bed in Bradford. Completely rattled my entire house for a good minute. So scary. I thought my ceiling was going to collapse. So definitely rattling some nerves out there too, Sarah Blesky. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm getting a text from my husband as well saying was that an earthquake everything just shook in the house and uh, sure enough it was and this is uh, an earthquake that occurred in Maine but because it was at probably a shallow depth we're feeling it across the majority of uh, Massachusetts as well as parts of New Hampshire in fact I find it uh, quite interesting this was a 4.5 magnitude earthquake, but a magnitude 4.0 earthquake in, uh, across our area can be felt as far as 60 miles from the center, and it infrequently causes some damages near the source, but just some shaking, and it can be quite scary, as a lot of people are uh, saying across the region. So uh, it's very interesting that, you know, many people are still talking about this. Earthquakes do happen here in New England, um, but this is 
display and one of the stronger ones uh, that we felt in some time. All right, Sam, thank you very much. Let's go now to Barbara Salvasano. She is in Methuen. Barbara, thank you so much for calling us. We really appreciate it. Tell us what, what you heard. Tell us what you felt. Well, yeah, we were, I'm visiting a friend's house in Methuen, and we were sitting around having dinner, and all of a sudden we felt a shake, which we thought was a truck. Huh. And then immediately said it was a big gust of wind and then realized it was an earthquake. Wow, and unbelievable. Uh, you yeah. never thought you'd feel an earthquake in, uh, in Methuen, right? Not as strong as this. No, not at all. <laughs> unbelievable. So, and what, what did you do after that? Well, once you finally realize it is, it kind of rumbled a little bit more, and then we just all looked at each other and said, that was an earthquake. Wow, and then unbelievable. And you can see everybody on Facebook just blowing up. And Barbara, you know earthquakes. I do, yeah. I unfortunately had the uh, fun of being stuck in a hotel in Honolulu a few years ago at a 6.5. So. Unbelievable. Well, I'm glad yeah. you're safe. Well, thank you. Barbara, thank you so much for calling, and we really appreciate it. Getting more Thanks and more of these calls and tweets, and Barbara, appreciate that. Uh, people calling, telling us what happened, what it felt like, where it was, depends kind of where you were. If you're obviously closer to it, it seems like the people are talking about 10 to 15 seconds as opposed to five seconds down in the Massachusetts area, but nonetheless, felt. Let's go back over to Sarah Blesky in the weather center. Sarah. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, moderate earthquakes uh, do happen. Uh, they just don't happen as frequently as we um, would expect. And in fact, you know, we haven't felt anything really shake in quite time. You know, we had the earthquake in Boston where a lot of uh, the buildings were rumbling and people could feel it. But this was centered and it was strong, uh, 4.5 magnitude just south southwest uh, um, in Maine. I'm sorry, in uh, Lake Arrowhead, Maine. And because of that, uh, areas as far south as Boston and parts of New Hampshire and Southern Maine, they all felt that. You know, the largest known New England earthquake um, I was doing some research was uh, back in 19, or 1638, believe it or not, with a magnitude 6.5. So this is 